guys welcome back to the vlog and welcome to Kelso I wasn't even gonna come this morning we've come to Kelso's arena event and we're doing the 80 and the 90 and I'm just tired one tired little bean and I thought I texted Laura and I was like I'm not coming I'm being lazy I'm too tired I'm wiped out I was putting a bed together for half until like nine o'clock and then I had to go to Ikea for the mattress last night so just could not be bothered Chalky wasn't bath, my tack wasn't cleaned. And I wasn't gonna come. And then I was like, well, I woke up to text you, so I might as well get up and come. So it was all one big rush. So we're here, I've course walked, I'll insert the 80 now, and then I'm just gonna get sorted and get on and go and get warmed up.
haven't done a voiceover of one of my rounds in a while, so here we are. I was really happy with the first fence. I was so conscious of keeping the rhythm on the approach because it's quite a long arena. And then I cut in the middle of these because I thought I don't want to go around the edge because it gives them too much of a long run up and then your rhythm can't you've got longer to try and keep your rhythm. So I cut in the middle and I just needed to be bolder coming into the double. So he chipped in a little bit, which took the first half, which I wasn't bothered about poles or poles. You can live with that. As long as he's listening to me and the rhythm's good, then it really doesn't bother me. He jumped over that ox out really, really nice for me. And it was quite big for an 80. And then we're coming around to number six. I think I needed a little bit more rhythm here. Yeah, he just got in a little bit deep. But again, I don't mind as long as he sorts himself out, which he did. And then we are now coming to like the in-between cross country and show jumping. So that's got like a little house underneath it. Now, I let him down on this round and the 90, both of this fence. I had a good rhythm and then right in front of the fence took my leg off. So we got that awkward jump and that was all just down to me. Quick leg change and then we're coming up to the 80 version of the big box. From the box, we are just going to canter through the water. And then up and over the brush. Loves that line. It was so fun to ride and he jumped it really well. Then we're going down the hill into the bottom arena and I'm not sure how much of this arena you're going to see. We're going to jump that little orange house. Here he is, back on the screen. And jumped that so nice. And then we're now heading for a similar style, more like a little round top, like roll top, like them orange and wood ones that you could see. And then we're going to come back on ourselves across the arena. And again, he jumped lovely for me. I was really happy with how he jumped down in this arena. And then we're going to jump the little house and head back up the hill. And this is where I noticed how fit he is because he pulled me up that hill so fast. You can see there I was just trying to slow him down a little bit. And we're coming to the second to last fence now, which is just like a little boat, boat thing. And down to the final fence and he <laughs> absolutely pinged it we were second in this class they had like an open and a championship section we were in the open section but we were second and too fast we had a pole in the 80 and then we were just hanging around waiting to walk the 90 and he was doing the results and I was standing in the bottom of the arena because we didn't need to walk back because that's the difference in the 90 the course changes a little bit and bagged a little second, which I was shocked at. So I'll put the course walk in with the changes for the 90. There's a big massive box in it. And then I am about to get back on because we're like five in. And jump around the 90. Got to be brave. Got to be positive riding, brave and leg on. <laughs> Now. 
I'm not voicing over the whole of this round, but I just wanted to pop in here and say, you can see there on the corner that I'd lost his left shoulder, which is the result of having that back bar down because he had to work extra hard to try and get clear of the fence. And again, the same as the 80, I just needed more rhythm coming down that long side. But overall, I definitely think we have gelled and we've definitely got this connection going now and he jumped that number six for me amazing i'm just really upset with myself here that i let him down and did that exact same thing as i did in the 80 took me leg off a stride in front and then obviously i had to work really really hard for the veg box but wow i'm so sad that there wasn't a photographer to take the veg box because he jumped insane now this is all going to give you a laugh you ready no not jumping into that mum he <laughs> I didn't even question the step. It's tiny and I genuinely thought he would just boldly jump in. How I was wrong. So we had a little dance and off he pops through. But I guess I'll never be tired of you. See what you want, see what you wrote, cause I wanna know, I wanna know Yeah, I'll be on my way out thinking that I'm good, right? Suddenly you pass by, now you're stuck on my mind Thinking how I stand now, but I guess I'll never be tired Of you Of you Of you done laura's just holding chalky for me i'm gonna soak him a mash of all the things i said i was worried about the box the job with the box was the nicest jump out of them all i let him run on to the green before the box thinking let's keep the rhythm and keep the pace and did nothing in front of it so we shuffled in and then i had to work hard for the box and then something that did not even cross my mind or i didn't even question was to step into the water and he acted like he'd never jumped into a step before. Maybe I needed to just ride it a bit more bold, but I didn't think I'd have to. I think, thought that he'd just be fine. But yeah, and then we had a pole for number four and we had the final pole. But I can live with that. It was really good and actually gave me a confidence boost because he jumped the box and that was the thing that I was worried about. So I'm going to give him a mash and then probably go and get some food and go home.